Okay. On a recent Reddit, Ask Me Anything, which basically is where somebody of like noble thing can go on Reddit and allow the community to ask any question, the following question was asked of author Robert Greene. How do you define hustle? Said um, chef, boy, produce. <laughs> and the answer given by Robert Greene was, Hustle is finding a way to achieve your goals by using full gamut of possible maneuvers and resources at your disposal, leaving as little to chance. And that's I present to you, Hustling with Python, redefining a mixtape hustle for the modern day. So essentially, basically for those of you who are not familiar with the mixtape hustle, a lot of urban artists used to try and like hawk their work because they didn't have connections to like the big studios and everything. They used to do something called mixtape. So what they'll do is produce a mixtape and they'll start hawking on the streets, all of their cars, flea markets and everything. And the hope of this was in order to get some sort of buzz and create some sort of like um, viral buzz so that the bigger like producers can say like, oh, these people have got a following and everything, so maybe they might be worth looking at. So what I want to do is I want to take this whole problem of the mixtape hustle and apply Python to using it. So the three segments, so <coughs> segmenting this into like three part solution. Creating a buzz through marketing, digitizing the um, hustling mixtapes on the street, and maximizing time tracing exposure through stealth maneuvers. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Is it gonna work? What's the matter? Are we missing something? <coughs> oh yeah, I'm missing it. Oh yeah, no, I'm not missing it. Yeah, thank you for um, patient for the patient. Okay, creating a buzz for marketing. So how am I applying Python to this? The way I'm applying Python to this is create, as opposed to creating a traditional website, I'm creating a web app. In that basically this is like a leaving, breathing entity that's going to use a lot of dynamic data generated and harnessed from online in order to produce various squares for the website, for the web application, sorry about that. And um, this web application is going to be hosted on, currently hosted on Google App Engine. So the reason why I'm using Google App, 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 Google App Engine as opposed to using another um, conventional um, hosting thing such as Heroku, not conventional, but more popular one like Heroku is because my exposure through web application development in Python came through using Google App Engine. So that's why I'm using Google App Engine as opposed to using Heroku. And the reason why I use Web App 2 is because that's what I started with as opposed to using Django. So currently like my next iteration is going to migrate towards using Django. And I'm using a bunch of Python open source live API libraries in order to um, gather data. So for example, the first thing this is here is Tweepy. So what I'm using Tweepy to do is to um, harness data from the artist Twitter feed so that I can use it dynamically to incorporate it into the website and everything. And another way of using Tweepy is also to extract like various geolocation in case you wanted to add some like geo-aware elements to the application such as maybe he might be going on tour and you might want to tweet like with updates and stuff, and why want people to follow him. So using the, the various markers and stuff in order to, the geographic location in order to run it onto a map. And um, there's also the sound pod, which is basically um, the logical sound and everything. So they've got like a very powerful like Python API, which you can use in order to extract the sound with various functionality to incorporate into websites. So that way I don't have to go like reinventing the wheel and I can leverage pre-existing infrastructure to carry out what I want to do. And there's also the Instagram API, which is listed here. So the third segment that I listed here was, there's one slide missing here, so I'll that. <laughs> okay, there's one slide missing, but I'm gonna like improvise from here. So digitizing, <coughs> hustling, the mixed tape on the street. So this is where Python really plays important aspect is because in the past people just used to pass out the wares and everything, but now if you digitize them, I can actually take acoustic signatures of the various music and everything. So what I'm using for this is I'm using the Equinite API. So Equinite is a company in Davis Square, so they produce a lovely API that allows you to analyze music and get various features and characteristics. So you can view Equinite as sort of being Google for music in that what you can do is that you can analyze and like fingerprint your music analogous to creating a site map for a site. What you're doing is that you're applying it to music. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this hustle that was originally created for websites and everything and applying it into music in that I'm creating, in that I'm extracting like all these information that I'm using. 
And the reason why this information is useful is because Equinus has an extremely large database. So you can actually give it some tracks, provided that it has information about that particular track. It can tell you like similar artists, danceability, tempo of the song, beats, and all sorts of other very useful characteristics that if you're into applying big data to solving problems, you can use those characteristics in order to advance um, the tapes and everything. And the third slide here is maximizing penetration. So music brains. So music brains is, um, I know I say Equinus is like Google for music in a certain way, but then music brains <laughs> most so, I that was a misnomer, but music brains more so, because music brains actually um, collect all this data that's associated with music, such as artists, um, blog, the Twitter accounts, video feeds. So you're applying like all this metadata here. So Equinus has this partnership with various other companies who like come and like define Equinus for like data in order to better leverage and maximize the penetration of the music and everything. And also um, the Equinus, which I mentioned in the previous slide, on the previous like missing slide that was, and um, and tweet listeners. So basically, another way to Python is to like program these tweet listeners. So like it listens to the Twitter line and maybe when certain like information comes or used that's valuable to marketing, such as hashtags, because you know people like looking for certain hashtags at a certain time. Um, for example, they might be looking up um, the hashtag, um, like, um, I'm trying to think of a hashtag, like Park 76, the Park 101, which is a hip hop show. So during that time, it's time to like add like a Twitter listener in order to try and like market that to that particular crowd. So um, that concludes my presentation about like hustling with Python. So I just wanted to talk about using Python in a rather like <coughs> unscientific um, type of way. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but this is more um, <coughs> taking like a hustle that has been around for a long time and trying to like modernize it with like various knowledge that I know about um, song signatures, acoustic signatures, and various other things. So um, thank you much for. Uh, <laughs>